Hi all, this is Care Heart, and on the screen with me today, I have Jean Peter, Kim, and Susie B. We like to call her Susie Q. I'm not sure how we point in these, but for now, forget where I point. Let's just talk about why we're here. I'm talking specifically to the hardest. So when you're, if you're an angel, feel free to check in, say hi, see how things are going. And hardest, you may not want to chat publicly because this is public. But we can chat in the Facebook group after this, or you can message me an email or any one of us an email. Down below, Down below is Kim. And with Kim, her email address is donate at disabledartist.org. Let's just talk about why we're here. Jean Peters' email address is wish at disabledartist.org, and I'm help at disabledartist.org. And Susie B, which, there we go. Susie B is always hanging out with us as a uh, an interpreter uh, and doing ASL. We to call her Susie Q. I'm not sure how we point in these, but for now, forget where we point. Let's you just talk that? about why we're here. I do talking specifically to the hardest so if you're if you're an angel feel free to check in say hi see how things are going and hardest you may not want but okay we got you okay so um kim as a heads up it was a duplicate on yours we're good um and here is what we're trying to explain when Jean, Peter, Kim, and I were just chatting in one of our normal meetings, we were talking about how we use the hardest list. And the hardest list, uh, the, the smile list, oh my goodness, I have no words today. I really can't function. The smile list we've renamed. It used to be called the wish list. And the reason we renamed it is because sometimes when we're reading it, we see that it's really people talking about only what their wishes are, not realizing it helps us understand you when we're packing your packages. Um, sometimes I get a feeling when I'm reading through the smile list um, that, okay, this person is very steampunk or this person is very flowery, this person likes animals, this person, and it gives, the, the more general the sense is, the easier it is for me to fill your packages. And that also helps when Jean Peters deciding which kits and which extras go in your bag and for Kim as well. And so let me turn this over to Jean Peter first. I'll mute myself and then um, I'll switch it over to Kim and we can each talk about how we use the smile list. And I'll finish off with how specifically I use it as well. Hello. Okay, for one thing, the smile list, and I'm the one who keeps it all updated, or I try really hard anyway, um, it has the basics, and that's probably my biggest concern right there. Some people, <clears throat> excuse me, are taking things off of their basics, and I think the basics is more um, consumables. You know, things that you, you may not need it every month, and that's fine if you want to go in and change it all the time. That, that's cool, but, you know, if it's something you use a lot of, like glue. I don't know about anybody else, but I could go through a glue stick a day on a, on a good day. And um, so that's something you ne definitely want to keep on there. And some of the things that's on the basics... What might be basic for me or Kim or Care or anybody else may not be a basic for you. Those are the things you can take off completely. Like, okay. Like lace. Lace right. and trims. But things like yeah. glue, glue sticks, paper, um, and then your base, there's always your basic tools the scissors, uh, you know, pencils rulers you know like if you were going to school for the first time all that fun stuff you get stuff in the bag that's basics if you don't have those things that's what we need in there um i just don't want a lot of times when we go to fill the bags you know if you have on there well i want a rolling pin and i want a tape gun and that's all you've got well if we haven't got them in donations that's really tough for us to get for you sometimes um sometimes we have them and sometimes we can order them and we have and 
I'm going to interrupt you there for a second, because one of the things that happens sometimes is some months we'll get a barrage of smiles that come across where people want to send or think that we can send them each and every month the wishes that they put on there. Let's say it's like a rolling pen would be a good, good example. And it makes sense for us uh, budget wise. But keep in mind that we're already sending out the bags with all the supplies. And if we don't have it in inventory, then we have to go order it for somewhere. But we might expect that this comes in inventory every once in a while. So you may, you know, you put it on there and it may come later down the road. Let me go back to Eugene Peter. Also, on we, we have a certain limit that we fill our bags. And um, we really try to stay within that limit. We also include um, anything that we may order from Amazon to a direct ship in that same price. And so some of those things are, um, if they're well out of the category and we haven't got it on a donation, you might not get it, you know, for several months or even maybe at all. It's always good to have that on there, but just be knowing that, um, you may not always get those things, you know, because we may get that amazing donation. We just never know. But the one thing that is the most helpful for me, and I'm sure Kim will agree, and she's got more ideas on that, too, because she's just she just did it for the first time. And so she's got a whole different outlook on it than someone like me who's done it several times. But um, your likes, your OK. So I'm, I'm just going to sit here and I'm just looking at things and that's where my words are coming from. So you like um, Christmas items, you like dragons, you like flowers, you like cupcakes. No, I don't have a cupcake here, but I don't know. It came up. So you have these likes and, you know, we may get an old magazine that's full of cupcake recipes or we may get... Um, Fabric. A dragon. What you want, what you like, what you collect, what your favorite colors are, what your favorite themes are, even down to what you're working on right now, because you can change that every month. And that helps immensely because a lot of times we don't have exactly what's on your list, but we have things in the style. And that is what helps us make the packages way more um, personalized and set at what you want. So I'm going to let Kim talk now or somebody else. I'm done. <laughs> um, I guess my different perspective is, like Jean Peter said, I am still getting to know all of the hardest individually. So it's very, very helpful to me because some of you I don't see on social media, so I, I don't know much about you. And if you don't have a smile list, I have no idea what colors you like. Um, if you prefer paper crafting versus, you know, tactile crafts, if you um, dabble in one thing versus you're full on into another thing, just your favorite colors, um, you know, if you like cats, dogs, um, if there's things that you don't want, that you have enough books, you don't want any more books or, you know, things like that, um, that's helpful too, because I want to send the best thing that you can make the most use out of. And if there's kits, I'm sure we all do the same thing where um, I've recently made some card kits and some of the cardstock had cats on it. So I made sure I sent those to the hardest who love cats. So we want to match up the things that you like to what we have that we're sending out as and just for me personally, please, if you don't have a smile list, make one because it, it helps us a lot more than you think. I started to speak and I realized I was on mute. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and first off, let me let me take a second to say thank you to all three of the ladies that are sitting here with me today, because Kim mailing to all of the hardest who are not adopted. That's not a small undertaking. And for Jean Peter, she's already working on the kits that you guys are going to be receiving next month. So it, this, even though Kim is now done, she literally just received all the boxes and is planning for her January shipment of paper and beyond. 
And Susie Q sitting over here in this corner, I feel like I'm in a boxing ring. Over here in this corner, we have Susie Q and, and she's signing for us literally on the spot. I asked her a minute before we went live. <laughs> so it's awesome to have these ladies here helping all of the hardest. And in some cases, the angels as well. Don't forget that if you have someone you'd like to nominate, it doesn't apply just to hardests. It's hardest angels, anyone. It can be someone that doesn't even know the organization exists and they need to lift me up. So that exists as well. But for those of you who may not realize this, that are hardest, so I'm talking to you right now, there is a form that you can fill out and it is on the Defy website and it's the smile list. And after having this discussion today, I feel like, you know, maybe I need to add a section that says likes, you know, kind of like where your questionnaire, when you first filled out that questionnaire, you know, like, but I didn't want your smile list to feel like so long and intimidating. So maybe we can talk through a little bit on how that works, but um, it would help all of us if we got the general sense from you uh, what types of things you like, because we base most of your packages on shipments. And let me give you an example of something. When I mailed out paper to every single hardest, yes, we got the paper for free. We only paid the shipping of a couple hundred dollars for a couple hundred pounds, right? But then it took us a couple of days to sort through the paper. And of course you received a little bit more than just paper, which took you know, the ink and the additional printables that came from the people who uh, donate the printables. And so there's an expense associated with that. Then there's the other expense of mailing it to everyone. And I don't know if you guys know this, but even just to mail the packages, I'm just going to rough it. Let's say it's 10. You're talking over $700. That's just the mail. So if we're spending like in December, there's a secret. It's going to cost us $30 a person for just one thing that's going to be shipped from Amazon directly to every person. Well, bam, you know, once I ship a package, if I shipped an empty envelope, we're almost hitting that $40 within the month. Now we all know December is a little bit different, but it helps you understand how quickly the budget within Defy can be used. And a lot of people, and I don't remember who just said this, but they were saying, oh, I think it was Shelly. Um, was saying, you know, I didn't even think about it. It was only a $10 product or a $20 product. And she was thinking, well, we know we can get just get this for everyone. It was jewelry kit or whatever we were talking about. I don't remember. But a $20 product, I've got to budget $1,500 on top of normal expenses if I ship it direct from Amazon. And when you put stuff on your smile list, we prioritize that. We take it seriously. Um, I do always keep glue in stock, so I don't necessarily, you know, mail that as separate. That usually goes into the hardest bags, especially, you know, that's why I just assume if you use glue, you probably use glue like I do. You would have to remove it from your wish list if you have buckets and buckets of glue and you don't need any more. Um, so that's why we separated your smile list in that section to be a little bit different. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. And then when we say make your smiles or your wishes in $43 and below, the reason we do that is because we average it out in the whole year. And most of your packages, you know, we will look into each and every one of your packages and try to adjust for what is the retail value of the stuff that goes inside your packages. And um, yes, if you're brand new to Defy, you'll feel like the last few months have been an overload. And honestly, it is. This is not, we, we have been mailing all kinds of packages from every which direction. And that's because we've been blessed recently. And we love to give those blessings to you guys. Just know for the newest folks, that isn't the norm. The norm is one package, 13 by 10, gets mailed to you, plus basics are either in the package or mailed from Amazon. Um, but yeah, hopefully that makes sense. And I do always, by the way, keep lace on hand. <laughs> That's why I was thinking lace, because to me, lace is a basic for many of the um, mixed media artists and paper crafters. But can we I, Go ahead. can I give them a hint that lace might be going out in January too? Oh, in December. <laughs> yeah. And and when Jean Peter, when you use, and I know I'm calling on you for a second here. But when you're making the kits, sometimes she'll make 12 of this kit or 35 of this kit or 10 of this kit. It depends on what we have in the supplies. And when we make a fewer number of kits, 
by you filling out your smile list, it actually helps us choose or helps Jean Peter choose which kits apply to which person. Now we all know if you're a paper crafter or if you're jewelry or if you're painting and most of you are a multiple of these three, um, we do know that. Um, but we like to take it just to the na next level to personalize everything as much as we can for all of you and make it realistic on what your expectations are in the bags every month. And so I want to make this request to everyone who's live in chat right now. Everyone who's live in chat, pretend like you're a hardest. That way we can keep it a secret who the hardest are and who the hardest are not. So pretend like you're a hardest and ask any questions you would that you think a hardest would ask, or if you're a hardest, ask the questions you want to. That way everyone can feel free to ask any questions in here. And if you're afraid to do that, don't be, because we know that everyone in the chat right now can pretend that. But back over to Jean Peter House. When you're looking at the wish list, what wish smile list, when you're looking at the smile list, what are the first things you look at when you're getting ready to prepare for your month? And Kim, I'm gonna ask you the same question in a minute. The first thing I look at is um, I'm kind of kind of going through it real quick. I go through the basics, and because I feel like the basics are somewhat um, consumables that they're going to have a need for, if not every month, every other month. I know that all, the three of us do try to make sure there's a glue stick or two in every package. And so that's not a big concern. I got kits going out with two glue sticks this month. And so I'm almost wiped out of glue sticks. But um, that doesn't mean I won't get more. I'm just, you know. But And then my next thing is their likes. Um, I do look at their wishes. But I take care of the list and I update it and I do all the changes. So I kind of already know what's there. I mean, it's not like I have a picture memory, but I've went through them enough that um, I have a box that sits in the other room where I sort. And um, I remember people's likes. And so I'll put that. And when, when somebody sends me an email, um, I usually, I don't always get them changed right away. Know that. But, um, you know, somebody sent me one and said, oh, yeah, add on there, I love elephants. Well, pretty soon that person's probably going to say, I want no more <laughs> elephants. Because I, that's what I put in my big box that has the things that, people have when you put a ton of things on there um i don't always um remember them but it's the little things so yeah i probably go into the basics and then the likes and the likes covers a lot of categories it could it could be your favorite themes your favorite animal your favorite colors um and and your don't likes are just as important because I may have this huge box of paper that's all full of Tim Holtz little people or instant relatives of the old people. And maybe you don't like that. And maybe I have 16 sets of Halloween stamps and two people don't like them. I don't want to send stuff, for instance, I don't want to send Kim a box of Halloween stamps when care is crazy over Halloween stamps. And that's kind of how I look at it. So that's where the likes and stuff. And I want to throw one more thing out there. We have the questionnaire on the website. And we have the smile list updates. Um, that has been amazing because you can go in and you can add. You can even just go in there and add some a few things. You know, like I like elephants now. You know, just add that. You don't have to answer all of those questions. It comes straight to me. And anything that comes in my email, it gets its own folder and it gets done when I get enough to sit down and do it for, you know, a couple hours or whatever. But um, posts, when you have things on the posts, 
sometimes those get lost and sometimes instant messages get lost too. I usually try to remember them and in instant messages, I can screenshot them. So then I get them in my, my photographs. But if you send me changes that way, I may not always get to them or all of a sudden I'll be doing something. I'll go, Oh wait, somebody had this. So then I have to scroll and scroll and scroll. So, um, yeah, email is much better or going right straight to the website and doing that. And that's real easy. If you're using a computer, I shouldn't tell anybody this, but I just bookmarked disabled artist site just yesterday. <laughs> and so I don't have to search for it. I can just click on it and I can go do that. I, you know, so it's, it's really an easy thing to do. And, um, the more simpler the wish list is, smile list, smile list. I know, the more, right? <laughs> the more simpler it is, the more kits you're going to get. That's just the bottom line for me. And I love, love, love making the kits. Really, really cool. <laughs> okay. And that's about it. That's what I go for. Didn't know it was going to be 20 minutes long telling you what I go for. But I, but we, I think all three of us do it a little bit different. And I mm -hmm. think it's good for them to know that because I view it very different when I grab the wish list. But let's go to Kim first. For me, it's the likes or favorites um, because I don't have as much on hand, you know, stock wise as right. Jean or Care do. So um, it's about the kits that I put together or it's about. Um, the things that I've collected that are going out. So it's really important, even if it just says, like Jean Peter said, I don't like orange and yellow, or I don't need any more books, or um, I have enough of this, or I'm not journaling, doing journals at this time. Or on the flip side, there's someone who, um, they gave a really cool list of, I'm collecting th things in these themes for upcoming journals I'm making. So that's really helpful too. Like they're saying projects are gonna work on. So they're they're looking for things in these three or four different themes. So if it's like Jean Peter said, if it's favorite colors, favorite styles of creating, favorite themes, things you collect, just you love cats, elephants, peacocks, flamingos, all of those good things. And it is helpful, like if you say I like shabby chic or vintage or I'm steampunk and grunge. I mean, those are, it just gives us something more to go off of. So we feel better about you'll, you'll like your package better. <laughs> yeah. And, and, oh, go ahead. I think I forgot. Oh, okay. So someone asked who is the smile list for the smile list is for the hardest, but I just want to put the angels out there in how the smile list works for them too. I was going to say that too about it. <laughs> yeah. Great minds think alike. Okay. Yeah. So um, if you are an angel and by angel, I mean you adopt someone, you just support the foundation, you send your excess supplies, whatever means possible. But if you're sending supplies, and you're like, well, I don't know. I don't want to just send them this box of something. And I've had this a lot. I don't want to just send them a box of something and them not be able to use it at all. Um, I could give it to the Salvation Army or I could give it to a school or something. Let's see what they want. Well, they can go to this wish list and um, or smile list. I'm going to have to write that down real big. I know, right? Computer. And I'll take this a while. <laughs> um, the reason we've went from smile to wish is because we want people to know that these are um, these are things that'll bring a smile to your face. It's something extra. It's not something that you can count on. It's just a smile. But we need to know what they are because when they come in, we can put that smile any time of the year. But okay, so back to the angels. I get squirrel. So anyway, um, an angel could go in and look at the smile list and see, oh, they have somebody that likes steampunk. Oh, they have three people that like flamingos and, and go down that and they can say, oh, this person doesn't have a scoreboard and I just bought me a new one. 
okay, I can put that in there because somebody needs it. And that makes it uh, amazingly easy for um, angels to know what to send. And, and it really is a big thing because, um, you know, I started off when care, the first one I seen, the first auction or something, and it was like, um beads they had no beads and i was like oh, i can fix that i sent her 26 pounds beads i didn't go look at no list then but now if i was to send stuff i would go look at the list and i've had a couple of angels ask me about that and i am trying to work rework the list so those that are adopted are in a separate category it's all going to be in the same place but that way you can see what is needed and you will feel better about what you're sending. I mean, we use everything. Mm -hmm. I love it. Love it when we get a donation of, you know, 20 or more things, because then that means I get to make something out of it. And that is crazy fun for me, but you know, we need other things too. And this will let you know that, you know, we have all these different tastes and some of the things and, you know, because you may have something you thought nobody would ever want, but you find out, hey, there's other people who like those weird things, just like me. So, okay. Can I say one other thing, though, too? If you're a reseller um, or you're a person who likes to shop at live sales, so you're supporting the community, because um, I've done it many times where I've had the smile list up while I'm at a live sale and checking the list if something that's being offered for sale is something that a hardest wants and if it is I you know order one for me and one for them so that's another way or if you're a seller and you have a bunch of something left over that didn't sell you could check and see if it's on anyone's list and I'm pretty sure care wouldn't mind if you sent or Jean Peter if you sent them a sticky note with that hardest code on it you attached love to it. It. <laughs> that literally I'm telling you what, if folks, I, that would knock my socks off is if someone was, de okay, so first off, if someone's de-stashing and they just want to get through their stuff and they just want to fill the box with no worries, no extra work, I'm cool with that. Um, and if someone is de-stashing, but they want to take the extra time and uh, say, oh, I was looking at this wish list and this is the wish code. Our wish codes are set up A, B, one, two, three. You'll see two letters and three numbers and the hardest knows who they are. And if not, they can always come back and ask me. And I love when someone pre-marks and it's often done with masking tape. I've seen a lot of people do that. So while you're packing it, if you happen to have that wish list set aside and some masking tape to say, oh, I saw this on blank person, you'd save me some time. I mean, because I don't get to be as detailed. I wish I could. I miss the days of being able to pack the bags as detailed as they do, because I tend to take it to the higher level when I'm looking at the wish list. I will be, okay, who are my junk journalers? Who are the folks? So then I just literally, it's junk journal supplies. Who are the people who have the word napkin checked? Because, you know, if I was a hardest, I wouldn't necessarily always want only my likes because I personally like to be challenged um, on artistic styles. So I do stretch it around a bit unless something sticks in my head like flamingos or animal prints or certain things like that. Then I know I generally set it aside. But if I have more than one, I'll set one aside and the other one will go to someone random. Otherwise, no one, no other hardest will get a flamingo again. So I want to make sure that I don't just grab what the likes are in one person and that I spread it around. And I tend to take it to the, what do you do? What do you craft with? Oh, you like to do diamond paintings? I literally just have three right now that I just sorted through. So in December, when I mail out my turn, then those three diamond painting kits will go to three people who have diamond painting listed, which isn't one of our crafts. It just happens to be um, one of the things that gets donated in that's separate. And so the wish list I look at last. First, I look to see what am I doing for that month? And I don't know if you guys know this, but we have this little code between Kim and I that um, we have it guided on month to month. And Jean Peter, hers, you can always tell which month Jean Peter's doing. It's the second month of every quarter because it'll say, what does yours say again? Do you remember it says kit? It says kits and something on how yours kits and smiles. So 
then we know that Jean Peter, which I would love, I'm telling you, if I was a hardest, I'd be like, um, always give me the kits, please, because to have it all crafted in one little thing. So from me, you're going to get random kits in your smiles. If I have a boatload of something that came in, like if I have a boatload of fabric and junk journal stuff that comes in, um, I will put some away for whatever month things fall into, if it falls into a category for a future month. But if it doesn't fall into a category, then I go one of these, one of these, one of these, one of these. When folks send kits as um, pre-prepared kits, I will pack those kits into the bags first. Then I look at your wishes because I like to honor the angels and the work that they've put in. Um, and then that's their gift to you. And then I go into the smile list of the things that fall into your categories. Then when I'm all done and I've mailed it all out for that month, after I mail everything out um, and I'll have my little checklist. You guys all know I love spreadsheets. And if you don't, I do. I love spreadsheets. So I have my little checklist all mapped out. And in my little checklist, I'll see, okay, well, this person went well over the $43 in their package. This person is a little skinny. This is a little skinny, and it was only down in the $37 range. So let me see what other basics they need on Amazon. And then what do I normally do? Honest, shh, I send an email to Gene Peter, <laughs> a message to Gene Peter. It's like, can you order blank and blank for blank? <laughs> So, and and that really is what happens. And and honestly, I I love that we. I don't know if you guys know this, but we had we have had months in the past, at the beginning of this year and at the end of last year, where we had twenty dollars left over in the budget, and um, we try to do every bit of everything we can for everyone at all times. And right now, we do have a little bit of cushion in the budget, but that's because. We're in the holiday season. We don't know how everyone's going to donate over these months. We don't know how it's going to look when we turn into the new year and everybody with all the crises going on all over the country. So we do have a little cushion. So you hardest, you don't have to worry about it. We have it budgeted for the next couple of months. We know that we can cover the expenses that are necessary. And so, yes, we are being conservative a little bit, even though you know when <laughs> we're still going to have stuff flying every which way. But not like the last two months where literally some folks received multiple packages from different things with the wishes. That's not normal. That's just uh, an adjustment of, of what was happening. Although for the angels who are interested in how that worked out, we literally had in some cases packages coming from Kim, Amazon, eBay, me, Jean Peter. <laughs> and it was and it was all totaling the right amount, but it's not a sustainable thing from a shipping perspective. But outside of everything else, it wasn't that fun. I mean, it was kind of fun to be able to do that for a month and a half or so, you know? And so anyway, back to how to use the wish list. Uh, I digress. I am always plain squirrel. Um, the angels, one of the things when someone sends me an email, which is why I did that, how do I adopt thing? When someone sends me an email, and this is addressed to you hardest, so you understand how this looks. I will tell, and they ask, how do I adopt, right? I will first send them to that wish list that you guys all look at. Okay. Smile to the smile list that you guys all look at. And in that smile list, what we do is we have them review the smile list and see if anyone's personality kind of fits in with their own. And you can feel that because I don't know if you've ever craft and cra done a craft and chat with someone else. But you will sometimes see, oh, wow, we both kind of make junk journals and we love or, or let me do it this way. Kim and I love making cards, you know, and Jean Peter loves to collect <laughs> whichever way this goes. Jean Peter, wherever she's at on the screen, she loves to make um, collage. Right. So I love collage. I love cards. But I, I can see that if I want to de-stash, I no longer want to make cards anymore oh, wow, look, this hardest wants cards. So I know that I'm de-stashing cards if I'm an angel and I might pick that particular person. So that's why what kind of craft will help the angels understand who you are and what you make and how you answer what you craft. Maybe an angel who's looking at it, not even Jean, Peter, Kim and I. 
And I'm sorry, Susie, I don't think I'm doing a good job of not doing made up words and <laughs> talking so fast, but you're doing fabulous. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, but if that makes sense, I really do send them to the smile list right away. In fact, um, I can put the link right here. Ding, talking in Lincoln. Um, the link right there is where folks can view the smile list. And we only update this on the website once a month because I'm not going to be honest to goodness. I will not. I did for a while, way, way back in the early days, keep it updated all the time whenever someone would send a message. But that's such a, a such a time sink and it doesn't seem like much, but it is. And then when Jean Peter took over the wish list part, it was a relief. But then even her juggling all of those. So now our new transition is if you send it to us on Messenger, Kim, Jean Peter, whichever way you are, and myself. Oh, there she is. I know, right? <laughs> all three of us are just going to send you to the smile list link, just so you know, um, because it, it makes it easier for it all to be in one place. And then, you know, your smile is not going to get lost because Absolutely. If, if you send me that wish, and I go squirrel, I opened it, I remembered, I acknowledged, I may have even wrote it down on a post-it note, but whether or not it makes it all the way to Dean Peter, sometimes that doesn't happen. So, but if you fill it out on the smile list, it definitely happens. And when she updates it, she grabs it straight from there and it won't get lost. And we wanna make sure nothing gets lost because some of you guys hardly communicate with us. And we wanna make sure that you guys always are heard. And just so you know, whether you communicate with us all the time, update it all the time, or only update it once a month, we don't judge you, and we treat you all the same. Whether you're the squeaky wheel or the wheel with loads of grease, it doesn't matter. Um, you are all going to have about the same estimated value throughout the year. Now, I do want to let some folks know of something while I'm thinking about it. Some of you have really big things on your wish list. And we do sometimes grant the really big things when those things come through in donations. And sometimes we'll grant big things once a year per hardest, but not necessarily within the same year, every hardest, because we can only do so much on our budget. So for instance, if you were to wish for a big shot, right? Sometimes we'll go order, <laughs> I shouldn't say sometimes, one time we ordered from a website. <laughs> <laughs> and that website, we just assumed it was going to have delayed shipping. And no, I'm not going to ding the website because goodness knows, I'm sure they have their hands full. There's a lot going on in the world today. But we, we granted a few big wishes to folks and they still haven't received them yet. And we ordered it in July. So sometimes um, we will hold off. And for those folks who are like, I barely got anything for Christmas in July. And yes, I call it Christmas in July, um, but I barely got anything for Christmas in July. And and the only reason you barely got anything, and you may not know this, is because we augmented it because you're going to end up whenever they eventually send it with a dye machine. And so we really do spend an enormous amount of time balancing and juggling to make sure it's fair among all hardest, the squeaky, squeaky ones and the oily ones. We make sure oily one sounds funny, doesn't it? But, and we also want you to know you are really heard. We look at this wish list all the time. Um, and I, I, I feel like that's how I get to know some of you, um, even more so than getting to know you guys with the instant messages or the emails or the various ways that we chat. And so with that, um, oh, there's a favor to have Susie sign a little higher or tilt your camera. <laughs> Oops, I have her on mute. I'm sorry, Susie. You're good. <laughs> but um, I, you, you mentioned, Jean Peter, that you were chatting. I can chat for 20 minutes. It wasn't you. That's me. I chat on and on and on. <laughs> So, Kim, what was it like mailing for your first big month to all the hardest that are not adopted? How did that feel? When I actually did it, packing them or once they actually left? 
<laughs> That's two different feelings. Completely <laughs> different answers. <laughs> I was very nerve wracked because I, I really don't know everybody all that well. So like, this is why you're saying that we really need the smile lists because I don't want anyone to open a bag and not think there was something or a few somethings that was specific to what they like. So mm -hmm. it was a little nerve wracking on that, but it is helpful when you say, you know, October, it's going to be cards, napkins, and stickers because then it's, you know, that's the fallback. But I, I, I like to, you know, make it where everybody likes what they get too. So, I mean, that, that was challenging. It was really fun though, finding things um, that were on the smile list or um, like I hit a huge lace mother load at a garage sale of all places. So, you know, it was really fun finding things to put in the bags that were, um, not specifically what they're thinking they were going to get. So that was fun. Um, and it was a lot of fun when they left, when they went to the post office. That was a really good feeling that, you know, that was a lot of work in hours, but that was really a good feeling. Um, but yeah, I just want, I want everybody to like it. So I, I think I might be, you know, too, you know, hard on myself with that. <laughs> Yes, I'm sure you probably were for your first time because yeah. I remember that too. I was very stressed about, you know, I would hate for someone to be disappointed in a bag that they got. So, yeah. Do you want to know what I'm stressed about now? That they're going to prefer the months that these two have. <laughs> and they're going to be like, you know, you don't need to send me during your months except for July and December. You know, leave it out in the other two months that you do. Right. Like I actually made some kits and I thought, what am I doing? They're going to think these are horrible because we have the, where is she? The kit master right there. I know, right? The kit master. And I can't make them nearly as many or nearly as fast as she can. So I, I thought, why, like, why am I doing that? <laughs> we have someone that that is her thing. Yeah. Well, it, it might be a little lighter this time because I have had my, kids living at home with me for I don't know a month or a month for both of them and then about two months for just my grandson so yeah plus homeschooling but we got it I, I'm very thankful that my kids same day that the bags left so that <laughs> that's good timing perfect timing yeah yeah um I think that doing the the making the bags for the hardest is is one of those those it, it is like making happy mail i saw i darla recommend about it sometimes she understands she gets stressed about sending a happy mail it is very much like making happy mail for folks and so the smile list is like that question back and forth to help us know what kind of happy mail because essentially, hardists are getting happy mail once a month. Um, and sometimes, I have to be honest with you, some, sometimes I am not as good at getting that level of detail. It just depends on how busy that month is. Um, and in fact, speaking, speaking of which, um, January, I'm pretty much out of pocket. I get swamped. I disappear in January. I don't even do I am as much in January, messenger as much in January. Emails are a little slower in delay because I get swamped on the business side of things to make sure all the job, all the balls that need to be juggled, all the official ones, they're all juggled properly. And um, so when I'm out of pocket like that, I love that we have diversity in the packages that are sent, right? I love that I don't have to stress as much about carrying the smile list or carrying the packages or prepping for any particular thing in the month of January. And even in the auctions, um, we're going to have a little bit of coverage in that particular month. So I love that we can work with each other. Now that we have this, this team environment going, the gel of getting things done, it's a lot easier. And you guys, I have to tell you, if you're a hardest, and you want something to not be sent to you, I always look at that before I mail it out. Um, ever since once somebody didn't want junk journal supplies and I accidentally sent junk journal supplies. And it's funny because I still beat myself up over things like that. So 
because I don't want it to be things that you receive that you really don't want. Um, and so I take the don't wants actually more seriously than the do wants because I don't want things to be left on you. So if you ever get something you don't want, please, please gift that to another individual somewhere near you who may or may not art and you may be introducing them to something and don't hesitate. You don't have to give it back and you don't even have to use the supplies in them. For instance, if you get a kit from Jean Peter and you say, oh, my gosh, I love these supplies, but I don't want to make the kit Jean Peter makes. I want to make something else. That's OK, you know, um, and if, if Kim sends you a kit or I send you a kit, you know, that it's OK that you don't do them in the way that other people do them because you're an artist. That's it. All of us are artists, even if you're angels or artists, you, we are all all artists. And for me, because I'm new to sending, even if it, you don't want to be specific and say, I don't like Tim Holtz, creepy people, or, you know, you don't want to go to that level. Like, what did you say, Jean Peter? It's like a direction. Like you're right. You're giving us yeah. a direction. Like I like steampunk and past, or I like steampunk and, and, you know, dark colors, or I like shabby chic and pastels or it just a direction to go. So at least we have something to go on. That's so helpful. Even like when it's stickers and um, cards and, Napkins, is that right? Yes. By having your likes in there, you know, we're not going to send you skeleton napkins if you don't like skeletons. So it really, that's probably, to me, that's probably one of the most major items on your list is, you know, your likes and your dislikes, your favorites and your, you know, collections and things like that. I mean, we're not going to go buying you lead crystal vases because you collect them. But, you know, there's but I'll give, I'll give yeah. an example. If you say you like Winnie the Pooh and Disney, when I'm, which happened, and then when I was going through all the stickers, I pulled out all the things people asked for, which is um, butterflies, sunflowers, and there was Winnie the Pooh, and there was Disney, and there was this one likes owls or peacocks, so that they do go to the cats, you know, flamingos, so they those did get pulled aside for the people who had them on their smile list. That, and, and when people are considering adopting for just um, December, and it's okay if you're adopting, if, if angels are watching this later, it's okay to adopt in December and not fill out everything on someone's wish list. You know, smile list, smile list. <laughs> It's okay to not, I, because sometimes I get overwhelmed with some of the smile lists because, you know, when I see it, it's all these big dollar items and I have to put myself back in check of, but it's fair because I still rebalance in the dollar amounts, if that makes any sense. So if somebody puts, and I don't know what it's currently going for, but just pretend somebody puts Tim Holtz glass craft mat, whatever that thing is called. If somebody puts that and that's on their smile list and let's pretend that costs $36, I'll probably just order a couple basics in the Tim Holtz craft mat on Amazon and ship it directly to them. And that's the end of their package. And that's the package they get that month. I have had artists ask me, and I'm sure it can be confusing because they didn't get the package with the pretty little print, whatever package we're mailing out that month. And they say, well, where's the package? Well, if I sent you something on Amazon, and that total comes to be within our our dollar amount that I'm probably not also sending you a package. Um, now, I try not to do that on kit month because it's a way of participating in the community um, and on jeans month, uh, because you may want to be a part of the community and making some of the same things that Jean makes. And Jean, I wouldn't mind if you sold some of those kits so angels had them, too. That way it's not obvious who the hardest are. That way we can mingle in some angels with the hardest making those kits publicly so they can feel more comfortable sharing them in groups. Yeah, you know? please, please, please. <laughs> <laughs> so in every one of the kits you do, save a couple back. That way it's okay. We don't always know who the hardest and the angels are based on those fabulous kits that you make. And um and then we can have a few of them floating out there in other groups. And we do take your secrecy very seriously um, with your being the hardest and the angel secrecy very seriously. We don't sell email addresses. Somebody asked that 
Um, so it doesn't matter what you submit to us. It's all in privacy. And that's why we use wish codes is so people don't know who you are. It's up to you if you want to go out and say, hey, I'm a hardest. But the one thing we do not allow and absolutely do not allow, you would actually be ejected as a hardest if you do it beyond one warning is to go to other people and say, I'm a hardest. You should give me these things free. You know, you can't you can't do that. And and I do have to say that because it has happened. Um, and so we had to go make some rule changes associated with that because we want to make sure that everyone views the hardest and and understands that the hardest are like this wonderful group of individuals and they are all taken care of and well loved and in that space if that makes any sense and i'm sure i didn't gracefully touch that topic but you know what i'm trying to say right i'm just trying to say that we are all about figuring the best ways to make everybody as happy as possible but well staying in budget <laughs> you know <laughs> You know what I mean, right? But we're getting close to the five o'clock and I'm getting hungry. So I get hangry pretty soon. I didn't even have lunch. You wouldn't I even want to talk to me. I had lunch, but I skipped breakfast. Yes. Uh, well, I can skip breakfast. I can't skip lunch. I go running around the house going, I'm hungry. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. When do I get to eat? Can I eat soon? I'm so hungry. <laughs> this woman can put some food away. I don't even remember what we're having for dinner. We're having chili. It's already in the crock pot. I can tell smell them, it. JP, tell them how cold it is. Um, let me look real quick and tell you right now what the exact temperature. Darn it. That's not the number I was going to want to see. Darn it isn't what I wanted to say. Either. <laughs> it is 28 degrees. I, I don't do under 75. Care, we're about 60 degrees hotter than that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, are you really? I think you're hotter than we are. We yes. had a high of. Yeah, we're hotter today than you are. Yep. Whew. Yeah, it's warmer where Tammy is than it is for me. Smack oleus. Just by a smidgen. But my hometown, it's snowing, so. Thank goodness. Well, I hate to pop right off, but I'm going to go ahead and hop right off and let you guys know that any questions you have with regards to how to fill out the smile link with regards to um, how to even access something, you can send an email to my email address, Kim's email address, Jean's email address, me Facebook messenger. Um, I don't take phone calls, so I don't know any other ways. I was trying to think of other things, but um, because I'm not always on. I can't always be on. I have to have lots of silent time and off time. And that's just how I function. And so I appreciate you guys for understanding how I function. And right now is part of my off time because I need food. I'm hungry. <laughs> I, will take I will take phone calls, but I do turn my phone off at night because I have insomnia. So well, I, I don't want my phone to wake me up if I'm, I'm having trouble sleeping. But I will take phone calls if need be. Yeah. And any help needed, and even if you're just learning the ropes and you're a brand new artist, um, and in some cases, it may not you may not feel comfortable being paired up with the three of us. I would even say the four of us with Susie too. Um, I I'm happy to buddy you up with another artist to learn the ropes, and we do buddies all the time. Or maybe even buddy with an you know angel artist, artist angel. If you're an angel and you want a buddy, that's all good. But I will only buddy you with a hardest if you sign a CNDA from now on. So that unless you don't know they're a hardest, that's all different. But you guys, back back to the whole span of saying goodbye. I'm just going to say love and hugs, everyone. Hopefully, we've answered lots of questions for you on what the smile list is. And if you have any questions at all, do not hesitate to contact us. And if you really don't even understand what the organization is about, Post a comment below and I will put in a link and um, of where you can find more information. So love and hugs, everyone. Take care. Bye. Thanks for coming. Bye.